السلام علیکم مائی نیم از امار احمد ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل ٹو ڈیز ٹاپک از اباؤٹ پروٹینس اینڈ اٹس کلاسیفکیشن واٹ آر پروٹینس پروٹینس آر پولیمرز آف امائنو ایسڈس دی کمپاؤنڈس کنٹیننگ کاربن نائٹروجن آکسیجن اینڈ ہائیڈروجن دی نمبر آف امائنو ایسڈس ویریز فرام اے فیو ٹو تھری تھاؤزینڈ اور ایون مور ان ڈفرینٹ پروٹینس Proteins are the most abundant organic compounds to be found in cells and comprise over 50% of their total dry weight. They are present in all types of cells and in all parts of the cells. Proteins perform many functions. They build structure of the cells. All enzymes are proteins and in this way they control whole metabolism of the cell. As hormonal proteins, These proteins may regulate metabolic process. Some proteins may be hemoglobin, work as carriers and transport specific substances. They may be oxygen, lipids, metal ions and so on. Some proteins are called antibodies, defend the body against pathogens. Blood clotting proteins prevent the loss of blood from the body after an injury. movement of organs and organisms and movement of chromosomes during anaphase of cell division are caused by proteins proteins are the basis of the major structural components of animal and human tissue they act as biological catalyst or maybe enzymes form structural part of organisms they participate in different cell reactions act as molecules of immunity and also provide fuel The molecules which yields amino acid upon hydrolysis are called proteins. Proteins are natural polymer of amino acids. The number of amino acids in a protein molecule may range from 2 to several thousands or it may be 3000. Protein molecules contain nitrogen, carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. About 170 types of amino acids have been found to occur in cells and tissues. Of these about 25 are constituents of proteins. Most of the proteins are however made of 20 types of amino acids. All amino acids have an amino group and a carboxyl group attached to the same carbon atom also known as alpha carbon. Amino acids are linked together to form polypeptides proteins. The amino group of one amino acid may react with the carboxyl group of another, releasing a molecule of water and it is hydrolysis. For example, glycine and alanine combinations. It all about polypeptide proteins. Classification of proteins Proteins may be simple proteins, conjugated proteins and derived proteins. What are simple proteins? Those which give one amino acid only upon hydrolysis. The other is conjugated proteins. Those which give an amino acid and a non-protein group upon hydrolysis. And the third one is derived proteins. Those which are derived from simple and conjugated proteins. simple proteins the first is albumin the global protein is insoluble in water and dilute salt solutions participated by saturation with compound solution when we heat it simple proteins it may be coagulate found in plant and animal tissues this is albumin simple proteins of albumin it may contain blood serum albumin meal lactal albumin egg white ovo albumin lentils ligomelins kidney beans fasolin and wheat leucosin it all about simple proteins simple proteins may be globular globulins globular protein is sparingly soluble in water and neutral solutions it will participate by dilute ammonium sulfate when heated it may coagulate distributed in both plant and animal tissues the globulins examples found in blood serum globulins muscles myosin if globulin present in potato we call tuberin brazil nuts 
axalcine, hemp, edastine, lentils, leguminin. These are examples of globulins found in different compounds. Simple proteins may be histones. In thymus gland, pancreas, and nucleoproteins, these are called as nucleohistones. It may be soluble in water, salt solution, and dilute acids. It is insoluble in ammonium hydroxide. It yields large amount of lysine and arginine. It may be combined with nucleic acid within cells. Simple proteins. One form is glutalines. Glutalines insoluble in water and dilute salt solutions. It may be soluble in dilute acids found in grains and cereals. If simple proteins found in wheat, it may be glutenin. If glutenin present in rice, it may be orizinin. Simple proteins may be scleroproteins. Scleroproteins are connective tissues and heart tissues. In connective tissues and heart tissues, scleroproteins are found. The fibrous protein is insoluble in all solvents. It may be resistant to digestion. The other category is conjugated proteins. Conjugated proteins are called nucleoproteins. It contains nucleic acids, nitrogen, and phosphorus. It is present in chromosomes and in all living forms as a combination of protein with either DNA or RNA. DNA is double-stranded molecule and RNA is single-stranded molecule. The nucleoproteins examples cytoplasm of cells, it may be called ribonucleoproteins. Nucleus of chromosomes and ribosome, it may be called deoxyribonucleoproteins, viruses and bacteriophages. It may also contain nucleoproteins. Conjugated proteins may be called glycoproteins. Glycoproteins are made up of glycogen and proteins. It may be found in bones, osteomucoid, it may be found in tendons, tendomucoid, and it may be found in cartilage, chondromucoid. It may contain more than 4% hexo amine mucoproteins, it less than 4% than glycoproteins. Conjugated proteins may be mucoprotein, mucoprotein found in saliva. It may call mucin and egg white. It may call ovomucoid. Proteins combined with amino sugars, sugar acids, and sulfates. Dried proteins are called proteins from elastin and myosins. It results from short actions of acids or enzymes. It may be insoluble in water. It has 10 are present in elastic tissues or elastin and myosin are present in myosin. The primary structure of proteins. Each protein has specific properties which are determined by the number and the specific sequence of amino acids in a molecule and upon the shape which the molecule assumes as a chain falls into its final compact form. These are four levels of organizations which are described. The first is primary structure, the secondary structure, tertiary structure, and quaternary structure. The sequence of amino acids in a polypeptide chain is called primary structure. Amino acids are linked with one another through peptide bonds. F. Singer was the first scientist who determined the sequence of amino acids in a protein molecule. After 10 years of work, he concluded that Insulin is composed of 51 amino acids in two chains. One of the chains had 21 amino acids and the other had 30 amino acids and they were held together by disulfide bridges. Hemoglobin is composed of four chains, two alpha and two beta chains. Each alpha chain contains 141 amino acids while each beta chain contains 146 amino acids. The size of protein molecule is determined by the amino acids type and the number of amino acids comprising that particular protein molecule. This is the primary structure of proteins. The second structure of protein is secondary structure. The polypeptide chains in a protein molecule don't lie flat. They usually coil into a helix or into some other irregular configuration. 
one of the common secondary structure is the alpha helix it involves a spiral formation of the basic polypeptide chain the alpha helix is a very unique geometric structure with 3.6 amino acids in each turn of the helix the helical structure is capped by the formation of hydrogen bonds among amino acid molecules in a successive turns of the spiral beta platelet sheet is formed by folding back of the polypeptide peptide chains make wide spiral shape or it may be present in a zigzag manner this coiling of a peptide chain is called the secondary structure of proteins it's due to hydrogen bonding the secondary structure of proteins it may be alpha helix or beta sheet The third structure of protein is tertiary structure of proteins. It is twisting or folding of polypeptide chains represent tertiary structure of proteins. Usually a polypeptide chain bends and folds upon itself forming a globular shape. This is the protein's tertiary conformation. It is maintained by three types of bonds namely ionic bond, hydrogen bond and disulfide bonds. In aqueous environment the most stable tertiary conformation is that in which hydrophobic amino acids are buried inside while hydrophilic amino acids are on the surface of the molecule the hydrophobic amino acids are buried inside and these hydrophobicity is due to the water reading while the hydrophilic amino acids are on the surface of the molecule these are due to the philic attraction to high water the quaternary structure of proteins it means for it's the arrangement of multiple folded protein or coiling protein molecules in a multi subunit complex a variety of bonding interactions including hydrogen bonding salt bridges and disulfide bonds holds the various chains into a particular geometry in many highly complex proteins polypeptide tertiary chains are aggregated and held together by hydrophobic interactions hydrogen and ionic bonds this specific arrangement is the quaternary structure which means for hemoglobin the oxygen carrying protein of red blood cells exhibit a quaternary structure of proteins